so today onwards <coughs> we are going to start next sort of lips lecture i hope you have liked the previous one so these are the somewhat advanced the previous three were the basic lectures so we cover some basic topics so from our lecture 4 we are starting some advanced topics so today we plan to cover user input function if function some of the remaining user input function if function and equality and conditional functions those will be useful in if function so we will start the visual lips auto lips visual lips editor then i will take one example from available examples so i have created here already i have already have created one example here so now we are uh, familiar with the basics of auto lips how to write the program that we are knowing it properly now so i will not go in much detail into that so we will start so today we will learn the new user input function that is get keyword so get keyword is useful to accept some specific words from user so in this case we want to accept suppose grade from the user and the grade should be a either a b or c it should not be other than that so for that we have used here get k keyword keyword get keyword auto list function so for your when using get keyword at first a uh, previous to that you have to it use a function called init gate that will be useful to define the keywords that you want to use in get keyword so before get keyword init gate is required otherwise get keyword will not work properly so in init gate uh, we are defining the bit one bit is basically that uh, enter is not user uh, it will prevent user from pressing the enter that is the meaning of a uh, one and then uh, within double quotes and separated by spaces we are defining the keywords those we want to use in the get keyword function so uh, this has defined the get keyword then next function we want to learn is if function suppose if you want to do some conditional operations that you can do using if the syntax is same it will start with left bracket then function if is there then you have to write down the condition so what condition is there if that condition is true it will go in the true part of the your uh, statements so here i have checked whether grade grade is a variable that is a user input in this case so i have checked that using equal function whether grade is equal to a if a is the grade enter by the user then i will uh, show a message you have received marks greater than 75% so we will just try uh, we will just run this program so we will understand in much more detail so the function name is ft so i will load this program and then i'm giving the function if t so he is asking me please enter grade so i say a so 